Hi, this is Steve with Teach Me Software. Today I'm going to show you how to print a large image on multiple pages using the Slice tool in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2020. This should work in any other version of Photoshop that you might have too. So I want to create a new document and we're going to do a 22 inch wide by 17 high. So that should be four sheets of paper in landscape style. One here, one here, one here, one here. So go ahead and create that document. You just do with a white background, it's fine. So you want to come over here to your shape tool, the custom shape tool. It's with your rectangular tool and all that other stuff. And then once you open that up here at the top, you've got a drop down menu with all of these different shapes and stuff. So we're just going to pick a flower and we'll just drag it out where it covers the majority of our page. And let's go with a yellow stroke of about 10 maybe and we'll do a fill of red okay so there's our flower so this is going to be printed and it's going to be two pieces of paper across two pieces of paper down okay so the next thing you want to do from here is you want to come in and you want to slice this okay so the right down here is your slice tool it's with the crop tool and all the other stuff. So click the select the slice tool, come over here and right click and you have this divide slice. And when you pick that you've got divide horizontal and divide vertically. And we want to divide it horizontally by two. And then we want to you see right there it just cut the paper in half horizontally. And we want to divide it vertically by two. And this is going to be adjusted depending on how big your document is, okay? So now we've got four separate sheets of paper, okay? So now from that, we have to do something else though to save it and to actually get this to print out as four separate pages. So the next thing you do is you come up here to the file and on the export, you have a save for web legacy. And that's just on the newer versions. The older versions will have a save for web over here. So you're going to select save for web either in this under the file section or if it's a newer version it's going to be under export and then save for web okay so once you click on that it's going to come up here and it's going to want to save this thing as a gif which is fine you can save it in any kind of file you want i'm assuming but i always just let it save as a gif because that works just fine for me so you come in here and you hit save and it's going to pick an images folder so right here is our images folder and so there are our four different images separated where it's cut this thing into four separate pieces now. So what you want to do with these now is you come up and you open them back up with Photoshop. That's the easiest way to do it. So now we've got this individual image that goes all the way to the edge of our paper. Now when this thing prints, I'm going to, show, I'm going to go ahead and print this file. I'm going to show you what it does. File and print. And we're going to print this thing. Now if you're printing it to your printer, you're going to want to come in here on your print settings. Wait, before you do that, make sure that you're in the landscape. Okay, because these were laid out landscape style, so you want them to be printed in landscape. So if you go into your print settings, and then hit your advanced settings, and you want to make sure this borderless printing is set to print borderless. Okay, so you hit OK. And OK and then it should print. So what we're going to do, and it's still going to leave just a tiny little line on there, uh, but you're going to have to just trim that with a paper cutter or with a pair of scissors and then you tape it all together and it looks just great. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print it as a PDF. Uh, and then we can just kind of see what it looks like. I have to switch it back to landscape mode and print. And that's what it's going to look like. Let's see, it takes it all the way to the edge. I believe when you actually print it, because the printer can't really literally print to the very edge of the paper, you're going to have like maybe an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch on the edge that you're going to have to trim off. But you just make that little trim on uh, a couple of the pieces and then you overlay it and then tape it together and then you got your poster. 
I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.